one of three people that loves a good Disney live action remake, DreamWorks has heard you. And they're gonna start doing it too. We have a live action How to Train Your Dragon movie coming in 2025, kill me! DreamWorks has seen that easy cash money Disney is rolling in by just simply reusing the storyboards from their classic films and putting a fresh coat of CGI over the top. And they're thinking, we need to harness this laziness for ourselves and do the exact same thing with our popular franchises. So we're gonna start with How to Train Your Dragon and shoot for 2025. And hopefully there won't be any major hiccups and we can get this ball rolling. We can get this dragon up in the sky. Some people get mad because they say dragon. It's supposed to be dragon. I don't, I mean, if you're going to get that hung up on things, then you can just leave. Actually, please don't. I want you to subscribe to the channel. We, 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 need, the, we need to keep growing this thing. And I put out a lot of movie content. I would love to have you stick around. Anyway, there's some news coming out about this. That's, this film is actually going to happen, and that depresses me. Not because I don't think it's possible to make it good. It probably won't be. But just the fact that it doesn't need to be made. There's certain things that got it right the first time. I don't need another interpretation. It's one thing if the movie kind of sucked, but the premise was great. Then sure, look at it, figure out how to make it better, and go for it. But How to Train Your Dragon? That trilogy is freaking peak. It's a massive W from start to finish. All three of those movies are really damn good. Third one, maybe doesn't knock it out of the park, but it's still a fantastic conclusion. Second movie is easily the best. I mean, I, I think that that's not even an opinion. I think that's objectively just a fact. According to an insider, three actors are currently in talks to join the project, with Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and its star Jake Dylan Grazer eyed for the lead role of Hiccup Haddock. I will say that is actually an excellent casting choice. If we have to do this movie, which apparently it's happening, that's a really good option for the character. He looks like him. He's got kind of the scrawnier physique, but I think he could be commanding if needed. Uh, I think that's a fantastic choice. This movie idea is not, but let's move on. It's also said that Moana star, keep in mind this is the live action Moana that's currently also being made by Disney, I hate you. Ali Cravolo is in final talks to play Astrid Hofferson, a warrior and Hiccup's love interest, while Joel Edgerton is expected to star as the lead's father, Stoic the Vast. Okay, you had me at the boy from Shazam. You kind of lost me with the Moana girl who's supposed to play the pasty-ass white Viking girl, and you really lost me at Edgerton playing the Stoic? I mean, really? That guy is not near it. Have you seen the mass on this dude? I suppose you could go penguin route and put him in a fat suit, but there's bigger dudes out there that could play this role. I, 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 don't, I don't see Edgerton really, really working for me, but whatever. I mean, this whole thing is so stupid to begin with. It's, you're gonna have to work really hard to impress me with the trailer to make me say, yep, I'm, I'm there. I'm bringing the whole family to this thing, day one. It's previously been reported that Dean DeBloy, who also wrote and directed How to Train Your Dragons trilogy, will also take charge of this live action remake. That's, I guess, positive, but we've already been down this road before with Netflix and the live action Avatar, the last Airbender series that they're doing and is a complete train wreck right now. That also had the original writers and directors attached at one point, and I believe they're both gone. They both walked over some creative differences or difficulty working with whoever. And we still have a couple years to go on this project. We'll see how it pans out. But right now, none of this is really exciting me in the slightest. What's next? Live action and Kung Fu Panda? Obviously, live action in quotes because it'll just be an ugly CG version that looks semi-photorealistic. Uh, I'm like giving myself a nightmare just thinking about it. How to Train Your Dragon is set to release March 14th. 2025, it already has a release date. This is happening. How depressing. Are you excited about this? Does this make your heart soar in the sky like a dragon? Or are you like me and you have a pit in your soul now? It's on fire because it's been burned also by a dragon. See how I'm saying the name? How you want me to now? I'm doing this for you. I'm working on bettering myself. 
I wish some of these animation studios would do the same. And stop rehashing everything! Just stop it! I'm sick and tired of this! Give the new generation new material! Give my children something to look forward to that's theirs, not mine! Because I am honestly sick to the gods to have to look at my kids and say, Oh yeah, that's Indiana Jones. You don't know who Indiana Bones is? He's only been around for five, 50 fucking years! Dust off the old hat and get the whip! We're going to the movies, kids! Oh, you don't know who that is? That's the Little Mermaid. She was white back in the, you know, back in the day. You saw it when you were little. The only thing they've done is change the skin color. How brave. Let's go to the movies now. God, I hate all this! New, new stuff! New stuff. All right, Th that's my little rant to end things out. Let me know your thoughts. Are you actually pumped for this? Like the video if you want, it's your life, it's your choice. Please subscribe though, I, that, that's something that I'm taking away that option from you. You need to subscribe right now. I've willed it. I've willed it. And hopefully I see you next time. Take care.